Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome if you're new. My name is Amy. There are paws moving around on the floor, so it's loud, and we're just gonna have to deal. Um, so yesterday was my final day of Mary's Mini, so I'm gonna talk you guys through it, how I did, or how I feel like I did anyway. Um, we're gonna make avocado toast, okay? Because I've been wanting avocado toast for 10 days. <laughs> So we're gonna make that and I'm gonna talk while we're making it. Okay, so let's make it. We are starting out with, I'm gonna call it Ezekiel bread, even though it's not technically Ezekiel bread, it's like the same thing. Um, it's the sprouted grain bread, seven sprouts. This is, I think like 80 calories per slice. Where is the nutrition label? There it is. Um, 80 calories per slice, but it has four grams of protein and three grams of fiber. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go for one or two slices. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be real bougie today. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna make. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna make this avocado toast. So I'm using a baby avocado because they're honestly just my favorite and I just kind of squeeze it out of the what do you call the skin, I guess. Um, so there are a million ways to make avocado toast and I'm sure you've had a bunch, but today I'm gonna be trying something a little different. We'll see if it's good. I might not even need this whole baby avocado to be honest. That might be a little much if there's such thing as too much. Okay, there definitely is, but. Anyway, so let's get into the stuff that you actually care about, even though I'm not really looking at you, sorry. Um, while I make this avocado toast. So you care about how I did, how much weight did I lose? I'm assuming this is what you care about. I'm just like putting words, you know, in your mouth. Um, anyway, so in 10 days, I lost 4.9 pounds. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, so I consider that a success, obviously, considering I lost like five something for the whole month of, or six something for the whole month of March. So that's almost a half a pound a day, which is crazy to me. Um, so let me tell you what I did, how I did it, would I do it again, what worked, what I feel like didn't work for me so much. So let's go over all that. And it, like I said, I'm not looking at you because I'm making avocado toast and I'm having it for the first time. And I'm having avocado for the first time in 10 days and I feel like this is a religious experience. Um, so fun fact, I had these like little baby radishes, never put this on avocado toast but I had them and it sounded kind of good. So we love crunch. That's not an even amount, but okay, whatever, close enough. Um, and then I have little grape tomatoes that I sliced up. So my favorite things to put on avocado toast, I actually don't have a couple of them, love arugula on avocado toast. So you do arugula, tomatoes, watermelon, sunflower seeds, balsamic vinegar, and some salt. Honestly, please try it. Tell me that you love it. If you don't love it, I don't know if you're like telling me the truth. It's just so good. Unless you don't like watermelon, then in that case you may not like it. This is not the prettiest I've ever done. Okay. Then I'm gonna do a squeeze of lemon because there's no such thing as too much citrus. We love acid. The citrusy kind, not the drug kind. Wow, there's a lot happening in my brain. I'm gonna use a little bit of Neapolitan herb balsamic. This video is just gonna be a hot mess. I see it now. I'm just gonna use like the tiniest bit because we already got that tang from the lemon. And then instead of regular salt, we're gonna get fancy with it. What is in there? Anyway, we're gonna use chunky salt. And I still kind of rub between my fingers, keeps it chunky, but also you know, not as chunky. I love salt. Don't be scared of salt. But like, be, you know, don't go crazy with it, but you ain't gotta be scared of salt. It's not a scary thing. And then with my avocado toast, BRB. Okay, so then with the broccoli, we also do lemon, okay? We always do lemon. Sometimes we have sauerkraut on the side because there's never enough tang. Lemon also helps absorb, is it calcium? I think, 
it's one of those minerals you need or vitamins okay and then i use salt on broccoli because i'm too lazy to go reach for the regular salt we're gonna do chunky sea salt on the broccoli as well we're just gonna flake that right on up oh my gosh okay so this is an epic breakfast slash lunch because it is 11 38 so meal one i got I start going by meal numbers because I never eat at breakfast time and I never eat at lunch time and I never eat at dinner time. I just kind of eat when I'm hungry. So she's epic. Oh, oh. All right. Let's taste this and then I'll get on with the video. Oh my god. And yes, I'm using pep towel. I didn't have them. Mmm not having avocado toast or just like avocado in general for so many days i love avocado on my potatoes in the morning i love avocado but i never use a ton also i think i have something on my hands that's making this taste perfumey what is perfumey I don't know. I lost four point nine pounds. And this is like turning to a mukbang right here. Hey, people are like, do you really eat veggies with every meal? Prick what? Tastes funny. I don't know. I'm gonna keep eating it anyway. Um. So four point nine pounds in ten days. It's freaking awesome. Um, I did the potato as my starch. And then most of my vegetables were like this. So broccoli, cabbage, asparagus. I think I had like mushrooms and spinach once, which I love. Mushroom, spinach, onions, and garlic sauteed. Add a little soy sauce. Delicious. Um, what else? So that was the main bits of my meals. I posted my first reel on Instagram yesterday. And that was what I eat in a day. So if you're curious for three meals I would have had, it's there. And then I also posted occasionally my meals and my stories. And I have those highlighted under food. So you can go check my Instagram, which gets fit, gish gets fit to see those meals. Um, so most of the time it was just like steamed potatoes with salt, garlic powder, some lime, um, balsamic, salt, yeah, stuff like that. Um, I did fries a lot, just stuck them in the air fryer. I pre-steamed potatoes um, per week. So I didn't buy enough potatoes initially. I ended up eating close to 15 pounds, if not a little more, in the first week of potatoes. <laughs> um, so here's something else I want to say. So I've been doing yoga every night for two weeks now. So... The scale did go up one, two, three days, but I've been working out every day. So I've been doing at least an hour walk every day. I do like a 50 minute walk and then a short 10 minute walk. I've been doing 10,000 steps Monday through Friday. So I have been exercising a lot, but the key to losing weight is it how much you exercise necessarily. It's being in a calorie deficit. Um, and a problem I noticed with Minnie's, uh, Mary's Mini for the first few days is I actually wasn't eating enough. So I ended up with these like kind of hunger headaches, which has never happened to me. Never had trouble eating enough, but I was burning so many calories and I was not eating enough. So I did realize that about like day three or four that I kind of had to up my meals a little bit and like eat more potatoes. I don't think I was eating enough potatoes. So that was fine. I did eat a lot of fruit. I said I was gonna do that anyway. Mary's Mini, you typically don't eat a lot of fruit. I love fruit. Bananas are like a number one staple in my house because when I go on my walks, I usually wear bike shorts that have a pocket and I'll just stick a banana <laughs> in my pocket. So when I'm walking and I feel my blood sugar dip because I typically don't eat before I walk, but it's been raining, so I've had to eat before, whatever. I typically don't eat before I go on my big walk. So I'll just put a banana. So if I feel like my blood sugar dip or, you know, I need some energy, boom. 
quick, easy. Um, had a bunch of strawberries because I went strawberry picking. I finally finished those. Had a lot of watermelon because I went to the beach last weekend. So did do some fruit. I don't think that really interfered with anything. I don't think it was enough to matter. The only time I ate a lot, a lot of fruit was that watermelon, which is mostly water. Um, and I ate that when I was at the beach and, you know, sweating a lot, swimming. So anyway, I liked it. I think I would do it again. Around day four or five, I really started craving an avocado. I like, I would, man, I really want an avocado. Um, last night I did have a dessert that wasn't on plan. It is what it is. Um, you know, not everything always goes 100%. So I feel like I did well. I would do it again. I would do potatoes again. Potatoes I think are very versatile, easy, and I love potatoes. And you can season them so many different ways. I love the textures that you can get from potatoes. I don't think I could have done this on another starch. Some people do like rice and stuff like that. It's not for me. Um, I did do a sweet potato meal twice because I just had some to use up. So um, that was just two meals though out of the whole, I don't know, three meals a day, 10, 30 meals. So anyway, 4.9 pounds. I feel really good. I feel like I've definitely, because of all the working out, I'm toning my legs, my arms, um, weird non-scale victory. I don't know if this is the Mary's mini, but I figure I'll just go ahead and include it. My feet look skinnier. <laughs> I was looking down yesterday at my feet and I was like, my feet are skinnier. Weird things. Love it. What is my dog found on the ground? Who knows? That's the end of this rambly video. I'm going to go devour this avocado toast, but like, you know, devour in a loving way because we've been separated, me and this avocado. I don't eat avocado toast hardly ever. I put avocado on my potatoes. I put it in like burrito bowls on top of breakfast scrambles, that kind of thing. Y'all, I just like reached my soul deep down. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do turn on bell notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.